Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can use the Azure Function Core Tools to fetch our application settings from Azure into a local.settings.json file for local Azure Function development. Now before deploying our Azure Functions, it's a good idea to debug our functions locally to ensure that it works as we expect. Uh, and running lo our functions locally require a local.settings.json file to store our application settings. Now, when we first create our Azure functions in Visual Studio, this file is actually generated for us. But say if we're working in a team, there's a bunch of us working on the same code on the same uh, Azure function, uh, and we clone our function application uh, from a, a code from a, a repository in source control, this file won't be cloned down with it because hopefully we haven't committed it because it's part of our .git, um, .git ignore uh, file. So, and it's really good practice not to commit that local.settings.json file in the first place, since it has your application secrets and we don't want that exposed in any way. Um, but say if we have multiple environments, say if we have a dev environment, test environment, UAT, et cetera, and we wanted, there was an issue with our function in one of these environments and we wanted to locally debug them using that environment settings for whatever reason, we can actually use the Azure function core tools to simplify the retrieval of those settings into a local.settings uh, yeah, settings file. So here I've got uh, a function application here sitting in Azure. If I go into my configuration, you can see that I've got quite a few, give it a chance to load, few um, application settings here. And actually copy and pasting them manually into a local settings file would be a bit of a pain. Um, but thankfully, thanks to um, the Azure Function Core Tools, this actually simplifies this process for us. So what I'm going to do is I've got this uh, function application or function um, Azure Function Code here on GitHub. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clone that into just a file here. Sweet. And I'm going to open you up. Just make sure I open up the right one. Going to open this one up. And as we will see, give this a chance to load. As we'll see, I just open up my function, uh, function uh, solution, or it's a function project, sorry. Our local.settings.json file hasn't been uh, cloned down, which is good, which means we haven't committed it to source control. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, hopefully Visual Studio responds to me, I'm actually gonna add um, a local.settings.json file. So what I need to do is just right click my project, go add new item, and then I'm gonna just add a JSON configuration um, yeah, a JSON configuration file. So there it is. I'm going to call this local dot settings settings dot JSON. Add that, and then I'm just going to remove any boilerplate uh, code here. So I'm just going to remove all of that. Fantastic. So now that I've got my local dot settings um, JSON file, um, I'm going to use the function call tools to actually extract my uh, app settings from Azure. Now, in order to actually do this, you'll need to have the Azure function call tools already installed. I've already done that. So what I'm going to do is in the description of, the, of this video, I will add a link to um, this article and it will show you how to uh, install the Azure function call tools. But since I've already done that, I'm going to open up my terminal again. And what I'm going to do is, I'm, first things first, I need to set um, the Azure subscription uh, where my function lives so I can actually um, use the function call tools to um, extract those application uh, settings. So what I'm going to do, just go az login. And this is just going to um, allow me to log into Azure. I'm already signed in, so if I click that and logged into Azure, so I'm just going to close that. And now it's just going to list all the subscriptions to which I have access to. Sweet, there we go. So I've got both of my um, subscriptions listed for me. I'm going to go back into the portal. And within my function application, I'm just going to see which subscription um, it's been provisioned against. Oh, I zoomed in too much. So it's my Visual Studio Enterprise subscription. Copy that. 
just give myself a bit of real estate here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go AZ account set. And I'm going to set it to my Visual Studio Enterprise subscription. Sweet. So now what we can do, now that I've set my subscription, we can actually fetch our application settings. So in order to do this, I need to make sure I'm in my uh, functions directory. So this is the actual function itself. So that's my um, directory that I cloned oh, from GitHub. Just make sure I have to go down a level. Yes, I do. Cool. I'm going to give myself a bit of real estate. So sweet. So now what I need to do is I need to actually um, tell the function call tools that I want to fetch my application settings. So to do this, I go func Azure function app. And then I'm going to write the command fetch app settings. Settings. So what I need to do, so I would go back into my Azure portal, copy the function application name, go back into the terminal, because this is what um, I need to provide as a parameter. I need to provide the name of my function just to say, hey, fetch this um, function's application settings. And then I need to specify an output file. So I go dash dash output file. And for that, I'm going to say local.settings.json. So just to summarize this command, I'm telling the function, Azure function call tools to fetch my application settings from this uh, function application, FA my health API activity and write them to my output file that I specified my local.settings.json file. So I'm going to press enter to run that. Give it a second to think about it. It's fetching, fetching. Sweet. So now it's loaded all of my function um, application settings from, uh, from Azure into my local uh, settings.json file. So if I go back into Visual Studio, I can see that all of my function um, application settings have been loaded. There's just one problem. All of this has been encrypted. And the reason why that, that's encrypted is because when they're stored um, in our function application, they're encrypted um, and they're only decrypted uh, before being injected into our function's process memory when it starts. So decrypting, we're gonna have to decrypt this before we can run it locally, but this is uh, very straightforward as well. So I'll go back into my terminal I'm going to write func settings decrypt. And if I go back into Visual Studio, all of my application settings have now been decrypted. Obviously, they're blurred out because they are you know, application secrets, and I don't want you guys uh, having a look at that. Um, but hopefully, you can kind of tell that they are, um, are decrypted. Um, one thing of note here is if you've got um, any of your application settings stored in Key Vault, when you retrieve the setting and you decrypt them, you'll only get the Key Vault URI uh, of which the secret is stored in. Um, so if you need to actually, if you need to use the actual value, you'll have to retrieve that from Key Vault yourself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my function application, and here I should get uh, two HTTP endpoints which I'm going to test um, using Postman here. We'll just go back into Visual Studio. Let that load up for a bit. So it's using my local settings.json file for my um, secret file configuration. And here are my two endpoints. So if I basically copy and paste that, Go into Visual Studio, I'm um, going to Postman, sorry. Paste that and press send. And hopefully, it's thinking about it. Sweet, I've got some output. So it's given me a 200 um, OK status, and there's my output. Fantastic. 
So hopefully you can see um, after watching this video, you kind of understand how we can use Azure Function Core Tools to really speed up our development process by allowing us to quickly retrieve our function application settings. Um, and what I'll be doing is I'll, um, I'll add in some links for actually working with um, Azure Function Core Tools so you can get installed, uh, get it installed on your local machine, get it set up and actually understand how the core tools work and how you can use it for much more than just uh, retrieving your app settings. Uh, and it's also on GitHub as well, so I'll throw a link to that in the description as well so you guys can check that out. Cool, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to pop a comment um, in the comment section. Um, I'll also put my um, Twitter handle in the description as well so you can reach out to me on there and ask me any questions there. Uh, and if you like this video, give it a like. Uh, thanks for watching uh, and I'll see you next time.